University of India presents Wings. We are now looking at the majestic new domestic and international terminal at Chennai Airport. This beautiful and grand looking departure level is the huge step towards the future. It has 62 chicken counters which ensures that the people are always comfortable. There are electronic displays throughout which gives guided information. The waiting halls, reserved lounges and restrooms are placed having the convenience of passengers in mind. This is the Aero Bridge which leads us to the flight. The passenger experiences the beautiful vertical gardens through a transparent elliptical glass tube the pathway which connects the air side to the city side, baggage claim area at arrival level. This new international terminal has 62 check-in counters, 18 immigration counters, 2 custom counters and 2 boarding gates at departure level. Whereas, the arrival level has 18 immigration counters, 15 custom counters and 3 arrival carousals. We are now looking at the passenger friendly elevated corridor especially designed for departures. This corridor having more than 1 km long, 33 meter wide corridor having 72 numbers of 4 wing and 2 wing piers are constructed for separate free entrance and exit to the terminal. Canopies are placed in both the terminals which gives an elegant appearance. The surface car parking available for more than 1600 cars. This massive construction required micro level planning having more than 10,000 activities. We will now look at the process of creating this masterpiece. The basement level in the Chennai airport is built using RCC structures. Its uniqueness is that it is raised with steel superstructure providing 300 meter long hovering roof substrusses These trusses have three parts namely cantilever beams, bent trusses, pier trusses to form curved like two wings. The building's open web steel superstructure is covered with glass curtain walls. The city side has spider glazing while air side has structural glazing that allowed natural light to permeate the terminal. The building area is covered by aluminium roofing system of Calzip with smoke extractor fans and skylight provision to admit daylight. It is watertight and fully sound insulated. The roofing system profile also allows to drain rainwater. The flooring in the terminal for about 1.6 lakh square meters has been laid with different flooring materials which adds beauty. The fall ceiling of 50,000 square meter area has been laid with gypsum board, metal ceiling, optra soft ceiling, calcium silicate, etc. The terminal is provided with the direct, indirect and spotlighting. 
The whole area is covered with essential lighting. The emotional lighting is thus set, which reduces glare and makes the passengers feel comfortable. AAI has taken up the most advanced IT infrastructure work covering from campus LAN, data center, public address, fire detection and alarm, flight information display, building management, and surveillance CCTV systems. Baggage handling system having four level X-ray screening system with the advanced features to ensure best security. Though all the materials used inside the airport are insulated with fireproof materials, sophisticated fire alarm systems along with the firefighting systems are kept to ensure complete safety. The heart of the terminal is the central substation which provides power supply and HVAC to new terminals. It accommodates HD DG sets, HD panels, automatic transfer switches, chiller plant and water treatment plant. AAI has availed 110 kV power supply. Gas insulated switch gears have been used for this purpose. The supply through DG sets is to ensure 100% power backup in case of main power failure. To serve such a huge terminal building, we need chiller of very high capacity. A 2500 ton chiller unit supplies water through the utility tunnel. For extending over the secondary runway over the Adia River, construction of this bridge was very essential. Over this bridge, wide-body aircraft can land safely. The model was generated for 200 meter length as an integrated concrete structure with precast and pre-stressed eye graders for runway, taxiway and side strips portion. Along with this, special type of cranes were used for erection of eye graders. This is an engineering marvel. AAI has further extended cargo facilities. Cargo Phase 3 Import Terminal having an automatic storage retrieval system has a cargo handling capacity of 8 lakh metric tons. Creating such a marvel is no easy task especially as this is a brownfield airport project which had to ensure no disruption to airport operations. To build a basement we had to go 8.5 meters below the ground level which was filled with hard rocks. Numerous advanced hard rock cutting techniques were used to accomplish this task. The construction of elevated corridors was not done in one stretch to avoid disruption of airport operations. Pillars were constructed in many phases whenever we got the space but was completed within the time frame. Even though there were floods in the monsoon while constructing Adia bridge over the river it was also completed within the time frame, which shows the commitment level of AAI. We are proud to say the following things as these are astonishing accomplishments. This is the first airport in India to have integrated multi-mode transport. A special connectivity is provided to the metro through a glass connecting tube with walkalator. The area per passenger meets the international standard. Departure area is completely columnless. Energy efficiency, water recycled and reused are maintained to achieve green building standards. AAI at Chennai has also initiated corporate social responsibility scheme, constructed two additional classrooms library room with all basic amenities and renovated the existing blocks 
for St. Thomas Primary School at Kohl Bazaar. Dr. Abdul Kalam says, dream, dream, dream. Dreams convert into thoughts, thoughts into vision, vision into reality. The project was dreamt and now being delivered into reality by AAI. Oh.